Welcome to Newspaper Headlines and Analysis this Saturday, Monday, the second day of May 2022, Idiofit Day. Monday, Idiofit Holiday, second day of May. 2022. Today's brief editorial is on the so called Akim Umiambode's intention to contest the governorship nomination shadow elections. We saw uh, my brief written editorial introducing the program today. Best speaks to my opinion about the the quixotic high falutian idea. However. Yesterday was Labor Day and up until a couple of hours ago I was going to write something about the nature of labor in Nigeria today. We need to tell ourselves the truth. The Nigerian worker is one of the least productive on the face of the earth. Within Africa, if we are to just oppose the productivity levels of workers, say in Nigeria, South Africa, Egypt, it is quite obvious that for what three Nigerian workers produce, only one South African worker produces it. In the case of Egypt, it's just barely what two Nigerian workers produce one Egyptian worker produces it. We can rightly say in any society leadership defines the strategic parameters that ultimately instruct the productivity level of workers. How the human capital is developed, how the human capital is catered for, and the clarity of the vision to which the human capital works for. Unfortunately, in the case of Nigeria, we have a natural disaster of not having good leadership. Let's be very honest with ourselves. And this is not only this is not only in the political sphere but across the value chain of our society. Culturally or traditionally we now have commissioned thugs. We are in crowns calling themselves KBSCs and the best they do would go the stock market women to extort money from them or build a militia of hormonealers to frustrate physical infrastructure development and the little efforts people make to own their own assets. 
leave the traditional and the cultural sphere and go to the religious sphere and you see characters who pretend to be the mouthpieces of God practically living large on the foolishness of their flock. The recent case of a so-called church leader who took 310,000 naira each from about 50 something members of each church and moved the church from Kaduna to one of the villages of Ekiti State telling them that he was preparing them for rapture and that they needed to pay the, the fare for the rapture speaks they sound quite comedic they sound quite you know extreme end of it but the best of our religious leaders have mastered the art of living large and the foolishness of their flocks and if you want to look at the private sector of the country mm, sorry in fact, one of the major problems of the private sector in Nigeria today is the lack of visionary leadership. People just live by luck and they call that entrepreneurialism. People wishing that those they know in government would just by chance pick them and let them do one of the dirty jobs with which uh, public buses are looted for them so that they can become overnight, overnight billionaires not because they have a sustainable business solution in place but because uh, they just uh, waiting on luck shine on them a friend with the governor a minister a friend suddenly calling on them and using one of the businesses they registered you know, to to sustain the lutocracy that we all have signed we have signed on to pretending that we are running a society. So I am not one to congratulate any worker on this workers' day yesterday. I am one who believes that it's about time we came to the realization that we urgently, urgently need to speak the truth to ourselves because as a society we are defining ourselves to be subhumans in many respects. That is the reason why we have a society that we have. The only major oil exporting nation on the face of the earth that imports virtually all the petroleum products that it uses. If, that's, if that does not define us well enough to anybody, then that person must... Uh, Today's front page of the Punch newspaper, subsidy deductions, each state's ad, governor's low salaries, workers lament. We are ready to face Sonwolu in primary Ambade group. Oshimba Joe gets high presidential survey rating, Tinumbu's group disagrees. FIFA finds Nigeria 63.9 million naira over Abuja Stadium violence. Ebute Meta Buhari laments frequent building collapse condoles with victims family. Spanish PM the First Minister phones tapped presidency says Salah Remain committed to God who in charges Muslim. 
Now to the Vanguard newspaper. The front page of the Vanguard newspaper today reads President resist moves to demolish distressed building in Lagos. Residents sorry residents resist moves to de demolish distressed building in Lagos. Responsible governments across the world would have prepared alternative accommodations for those who live in those buildings and you, you take equipment to structures to demolish them reasonably so because they are major health and safety uh, challenges, but I haven't said that human beings live in those structures, and it is not beyond the powers of government to find arrangements, even if it's just renting and subsidizing their rent. Police arrest four suspected cultists in Ogun. Out of just two men gang rape girl in Enugu community. Residents resist moves to demolish distressed building in Lagos. Delta 2023 acknowledge Okawa for endorsing on reaching power rotation. Uyibode tells Urubu. Out of just two men gang rape girls in Enugu community. No way to cure internal and external pile emeralds. Eat feed tree. Eat a feed tree. Ensure maximum security in Lagos. I packed also. 2023 Islamic preachers council back southern presidency. Eat a feed tree. Okowa felicitates with Muslims. Now to the Guardian newspaper. The front page of the Guardian newspaper reads Buari silent on varsity's strike deregulation as workers boo in Gigi. Africans relieve all tales of escape from Ukraine war. Constraints of raising funds from local market. Shoinka visits Igbo in Kutonu. Though short lived, Go Simba leaves footprints on Nigerian cricket. The front page of this day newspaper reads. Front page of this day newspaper reads This day newspaper uh, Front page reads Cardinal Anoye complains Nigeria's woes on politicians Yes sir But very much inclusive of you and I too sir Because like I said earlier on, in all spheres of life, be it in the area of religion, be it in the area of private sector leadership, is failing Nigeria big time across the value chain of society. Collapsed building, death toll rises to aid as search continues. Our minority caucus commiserates with Senator Wabara over wife's death. Six bodies recovered from collapsed three-story building. AAPC presidential aspirant quits race as party dumps zoning. Quitting race as party dumps zoning or you can afford the hundred million naira. You better say it clearly. NLC amongst 36 workers killed by bandits in Kaduna. 29 Imo communities abandoned female genitalia, gen, female genital 
mutilation practice. Eleven people rescued as building collapses in Lagos. The Nigerian Tribune newspaper's front page reads building collapse right now embarrassing Buhari President Olo speak building collapse right now <laughs> what's the presidency doing about it so much holiness coming from the seat of power what an irony what is ministers authors miss APC resignation deadlines 2023, a APC committee holds marathon meetings to determine two only one aspirants scramble for PDP governorship tickets. Gale of disqualifications as PDP, as PDP screens aspirants across the nation. Reps confirm recovery of over 17 billion naira missing revenue. And lastly, for today, the Daily Trust newspaper. The Daily Trust front page reads Allow peace in Nigeria, Sultan so tells politicians. My abductors knelt before me for prayers, Fred Pastor. Over 75% of banks' staff in Nigeria are casual workers. Allow peace in Nigeria, assault and tax politicians. FIFA sanctions Nigeria over World Cup Faka in Abuja. Nigeria may break if Buhari continues with his soul, with his style of governance, a Fenifari leader. That is where we end it for this special Monday, Salad Day, Hido Fitri, Holiday. Second day of May 2020.